Oh. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Dice Tower. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Z Garcia. Welcome to a live stream here, or one of our brackets, where we have 64 things and you vote on them. Mm -hmm. You, you, you mm -hmm. in the chat can vote on them. 64. Unless you're watching this later on, in which case it's too late. True. All right. That's how it works. Can we have some sort of mail-in votes? Can we do that? We'll count those. If later. they miss it after the fact. Uh huh. Z Garcia, P.O. Box. 32, no, 2222, two, 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 your favorite number. Yes, 2227. Two, 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 um, anyhow, we're going to be putting the links to the polls in the, the chat. Chris is doing yep. that. Chris and Roy are working on behind the scenes over here. And you get to vote on them. We're just here to talk about them. So what I did, this is called Best of the Worst. And so I went to Board Game Geek, which is a website that ranks all board games as ranked by gamers, not right. ordinary people. And so you're going to find Muggles. some... Well, no, I say that because some very popular games are at the bottom. Yeah. Yes. The lowest ranked game on Board Game Geek is Tic Tac Toe, mm -hmm. which is not part of this list oh. because Tic Tac Toe is not a game. You don't really. buy it. You can't buy it. There's yeah, that. Yeah. You can buy it, actually. You can buy it. Yeah, you can. They make some nice additions of Tic Tac Toe, which <laughs> kind of blow my mind. <laughs> yeah. Like really nice wooden ones. I'm like, really? a mahogany tree died for this. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Wow, I Humanity already disagree with you guys. Humanity doesn't deserve to, what? I, I would own 10 tic-tac-toes before I'd own, like, chess or something. You can play it on the tree before you cut it down, Absolutely. by the way. That's what type of game it is. I have much less issues with tic-tac-toe than with, like, chess, for example. <laughs> tic-tac-toe is an unwinnable game. Right, but it's, I mean, it's not activity, that kind of stuff. It's a time passer. Like, I, I, <laughs> strong. <laughs> Right. I'd buy a mahogany So set. anyhow, I went to the bottom of the list and I made a bracket from them. Now, not the I didn't pick the bottom 64, although the second from the bottom is on the list. You'll see it in just a second. Oh, exciting. Um, but lots of them. I tried to pick games, though, that people knew. <laughs> There's a few games at the bottom of Board Game Geek that are there because they weren't delivered on Kickstarter or something like that, or because of they're very esoteric, weird games. So you have... If you're watching this, you... Oh, no. You... <laughs> You probably heard of 40 or 50 of these games. Okay. Okay. You guys have probably heard of almost all of them. Okay. There are a few modern games on the list that are just ranked that low. Really? Yes, there are. Oh. Huh. So, we're just going to do matchups and may the higher vote win. Now, remember, you're voting not for the worst one, the better one. So, the let's start with better. a kid's yes. game. Shoots and ladders. Or, in some parts of the world, snakes and ladders. Mm -hmm. Against pickup sticks. Now, this one you did not know how to play. Yeah, I just literally asked a minute ago, what's pickup sticks? And apparently it's what I should have guessed. You throw <laughs> down sticks and pick them up. It's like Kerplunk, but without the, the marbles, yeah. right? You know, I mean, it's just instead of like trying to not let them fall, you're trying not to make the sticks fall. I, again, well, I have no problems with pickup sticks. I enjoy it. It's more what <laughs> you play, play right now. after Kerplunk. But shoots and ladders, I would, many, I would burn right now. Absolutely. How many mahogany trees would you kill? For pickup sticks. Well, no, you want them in different colors, them. so it'd have to be other kinds of woods as well. So just one mahogany tree. Just for like a couple of sticks, That's all. and then you kill just like a say a uh, pickup sticks. And I get some pickup sticks is ones. clearly better. Yes, so much better. It sounds better. Uh, it's better than shoots and ladders. Yeah. Absolutely, shoots, shoots, and shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. You roll a die and you move a whole. There's one like, shoots and ladders I saw one time where you moved like little marble type pieces, and it was 3D, and if you went down a chute, it rolled down like a marble. Okay. Oh, that, that was, was nice. a little better. Yeah. Okay. Because it's more like visually stimulating, but it's still not a yeah. better game. Yeah, I don't like it at all. I have this little Harry Potter version my son makes me play. Ugh. Of pickup sticks. Oh, no, I, huh? no, I'd be happy with that. <gasps> yeah, that's it. Pick up wands. Wow, that's way closer than I thought. Whoa. Wow. Pick up sticks is fire. I'm buying a copy today <laughs> of every one of these that wins. I'm buying a copy to date. But you only can't. one's going to win. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Every matchup. You got to wait for the next printing. They're all out. <laughs> and if a game wins multiple yeah, matchups, I own multiple copies now. I do it. Fair enough. Kill all the mahogany trees. Pick up sticks. All I right. am shocked that many people voted in Shoots and Ladders. The Shock. next one is a more is, is not a modern game, but it's more modern than most of them. Okay. It's a game where it tells you to be silly on purpose. That is Ooh. Quelf. Quelf. Quelf against a very old classic, Don't Spill the Ooh, Beans. Oh, man. Oh. I've owned one of these two games. Yeah. Oh, which Quelf. one? Is that right? Yeah, definitely. The holiday no, classic. Quelf is, uh, yeah. I was gifted yeah. Quelf. My brother went to the hospital. It. I was like, no. Got beans removed from <laughs> his good. nose. No. His nasal really? cavity from this game. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that distinctly as a child. I was, even then, I was like, you're dumb. <laughs> it's the worst 18th birthday he's ever had. So <laughs> 
while she was watching. <laughs> So don't spill the beans as the thing that like activates and dumps, right? No, it's it's literally just a a, a pot. It's a, it's just a, like a tilty yeah. pot. It's it's and basically you put stuff it's, in it. It's Viking, Viking sea salt. Viking sea salt. Oh, she's doing my joke. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike is all over this. Mike loves don't spill the beans. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically then a Canizia classic. It is, yeah. You, you know Canizia was. This, well, he doesn't play other people's games, but he was looking at don't spill the beans. Yeah, yeah. This is what inspired what, it. Actually, I mean, what is that? Exactly. What is Quill? <laughs> I don't know Quill. So Quill is a party game in which they'll yeah. say the first person to run to the kitchen and put a pan on their head gets this card. But there's also no rules, so it can get violent pretty quickly. <laughs> That's really dumb. She's the only one who plays violent Quill. Uh, I disagree. Quill. All five of my brothers okay, well, <laughs> play very violently. All right, let's go to it. Wow. Don't spill the beans. Better have won. It did. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Don't spill the beans sounds like straight fire, and I will be purchasing a copy today. <laughs> All right. Toys R Us. Um, All right. This one's going to be a tough one here. These are both silly, silly games all about the dexterity. One is Mousetrap, Ooh. and the other is Barrel of Monkeys. Oh, man. How many of these have a movie named after them? <laughs> Ooh. Well, Barrel of Monkeys is multiple movies. Both of these, I don't think I've, I've owned them both. I don't think I've ever played either one. I've played with the components in both of them. You built a the Mousetrap, right? I built the Mousetrap. I don't know if I've ever played a game. Of Barrel of trap? Monkeys is yeah. just hanging the monkeys from one another, That's right? all it is. There's a game, though, right? Because yeah, I've no, done it's that. So you can, like, make the longest strand. So you have to actually use a monkey, and you have to hook another. And then you have the two that are hooking, and you have to use those two to, like, oh, try really and hook a third. That really is. Yeah. Then I have played it. That yeah. I so it's like pickup sticks, you throw them no, down No, no, they're first. in the buckle. They're in the barrel there, and you have to, like, use one to pick one up. And they, from and they within swing. the barrel. Yeah, and they, like, swing on each other like that. So then you have to use that, like, swinging one to try to get a third. And once they fall off, whatever... Um, whatever stays connected when one falls off is what you get to keep. Barrel Monkeys is a better game, but Mousetrap is more fun to play with, right? But I don't think you ever played. You just set it up and like do the little contraption. I never like, played the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. If Barrel Monkeys had contraptions, that'd be a perfect, a match made in heaven. Barrel of contraptions. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see who got it. It better be Barrel Monkeys. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Mousetrap! Oh, right. I like these people. Oh. Engineers. How do you win Mousetrap? Is it competitive or co-op? I don't even know. Is it competitive or co-op? None of these are co-ops. That's a very Actually, no. modern idea. I never, I've always played Mousetrap co-op because we just build it. Just build it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Right. We're like, yeah, yeah we won. A legit question. Can away, we kids, make it work? Put our, 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 our. the highest shelf. All right. In the house. Oh. This next one has a game that what that some people here will have a very strong reaction against. Okay. 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 It's like, don't speak look. out or the various versions. That's where you put that dentist thing in your mouth. Oh man. And you say words against. Ants in the pants. That's like like really? basically tiddlywinks. Wait, Look, what's the aversion? It could be. I thought that was a warning to me. What's the aversion? Oh, the speak out. A lot of people hate this one. That's you put a thing in yeah. your mouth that spreads up when you're yeah, lips. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then you say things, was, and it's supposed to be humorous. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. No, 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 okay, no, because the image. spit rolls out of people's mouths. That's hilarious. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Series, I've played so much of this game. <laughs> I have this. I own the Speak Out Like Party Edition. Are you this serious? This is one of my least favorite games in the world. Oh my god! I gosh. hate it so much. I'm never going to your house. Now get it. we will be like, I've got crap no, and no, no, no. <laughs> Me laugh. No, no, listen. I like ordered like an extra pack so we all have our own so we don't have to share. And then when you're done, you just run them through the dishwasher. But I have the version of it too where it has like all the accessories, so you have to like have this accessories. in your mouth. Accessories. <laughs> and so you have to like you have to like blow. So basically blow plastic balls. overalls. <laughs> That's gross. So, it's so I much hate fun. This game so oh my much. Gosh. Oh my god. What ever said? Speak out. It's totally Come stupid on, fun. Please. It's all absolutely right. atrocious. Please say you won. Oh. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! Finally! I disagree. I disagree. Oh. oh, man. Uh, the people had said, thank you. Thank you. All right. No, Moving no. on here. All right. Now we have a very popular game for old people. Bingo. Mm. Against like bingo, an old man. game that's popular for young people. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh, this is an obvious winner right here. Bingo is... Not it's an activity really, but it's a better thing <laughs> a than rock'em sock'em <gasps> robots. <gasps> Bingo is a way to gamble <gasps> legally. Is what it is. Basically, now. it's a way to get that extra heartbeat in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Old people need bingo. Hey. Is what I'm saying. Okay, they can't do cardio. They do we've, bingo. We've lost a lot of people to bingo. What? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. Yeah, Too much it's... cardio when they get up. <laughs> I'm definitely, my money's on Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Yeah, it's gotta be Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Okay. 
all the drool. Come on. The accessories. <laughs> if you can bingo with the accessories, <laughs> that's really where Wait, it gets good. What's the game that Roy had that was like? Yeah, that one I like more than Rock'em Sock'em. What is it? Aikido or whatever. Aikido oh, I thing? That's, I thought it was Rock'em Sock'em that y'all play with him. It's basically kind of like It works that. better than Rock'em Sock'em. Rock'em Sock'em is big. They're like this big, the robots. And it's hard to get yeah. the head to pop up. It's like... Have you ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese or a Dave & Buster's has the real big ones? No. Like yeah. what? Like you get in it? No. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were sick at Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim? It takes two people to run because they're, they're mental low. too much. Alright, let's see who won! Stupid. <laughs> Yay, we're at the top no, of the line! Bingo! I gotta oh buy it! Gosh. I guess I have to now. I'm gonna go to my local All right. Kroger's. <laughs> Next we have Wiggly a, Wiggly. We have a very old game. Well, not. I guess it's from the 80s. We got Triominoes oh. against Killer Bunnies. I don't know Killer mm, Bunnies. That's Killer Bunnies is very, well, not very new, but it's modern. It is. 90s, maybe? 2000s, maybe? Oh, Killer Bunny. It's oh, 2000s. God. And Triominoes is a more complicated way to play dominoes they because it's much harder to make a match. And they don't knock over as nicely either. There's a lot of expansions for Killer Bunnies. Apparently, that's more popular. Is that kind of like um, any of those other. Um, <laughs> Cat and Blender or whatever? What? what? A, no, what is no. It? Killer Bunnies that's is gross. definitely a take that style game. Here's what people yes. hate about Killer Bunnies. Over the course of the game, <clears> you're playing these. You have to play these bunnies, and they kill each other and all that. But they collect carrots, and so you'll get. You, maybe you get six carrots. Yeah, he yeah. gets three. Yeah. Joey gets one. Then we take that's a small deck of carrot cards up. that matches all your carrots of numbers. We pull one, and whoever has that number wins. So what? even if he only collected one, he could win. Makes sense. No, it does not make sense how that like passed a boardroom and multiple people said that would be a good to produce. Well, that they also awful. chose the name to well, get so bad. Somehow it got made so into bad. a game. <laughs> Don't Imagine put... a big plastic piece, right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's so great. Okay. You have to try to like, get people. No, All right, come on, Triominoes. I'm good. for you. It's good. Triominoes. Oh, Killer Bunnies are going to win this one. I played so much Triominoes. Killer Bunnies. What? Oh. I don't think you realize the hate some people have for Killer Bunnies. But it's everywhere. I yes. like it. I've never oh. played it. You, you, Really? I do like it. It's like a guilty no. pleasure like. Really? It's a bad game I like. I know it's bad. Killer Bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> All right. A game that's not cool to say anymore, I guess. Old Maid against mm. Guess Who. Ooh. This is a slam dunk for me. Oh, this me. is easy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Are we all thinking the same one, though? Hold yeah. on. Right? Guess who? Guess right. who? Okay, good. Yeah, guess yeah, who? Yeah, guess who is a much better yeah. game it than is. Old Maid. That artwork, though, in Old Maid is good. Oh, that's interesting because that's actually an Old Maid. It, oh! Wow! <laughs> well, no, yeah, yeah, it's actually. It's just, it means spinster, right? That's usually yeah. the way it works, and that one's an, an Old Maid. And that's yeah, an yeah. actual huh. pig. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad we got that one in there. Yeah. Uh, this one's Guess Who. It's, it's if guess you think who. Guess Who's boring, you can also always play with two characters. Mm. And then you go, do either of your people have a hat? Do both have a hat? Oh, okay. It really changes the game. I thought you meant oh, play. interesting. It's like, guess who plus? I thought you it meant is. play I played both that roles. Way and it's very, very heavy. Oh, like, that would work, I'm guessing. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. No, no That made is not a very good card Ooh, game. No You're surprise there. Regular deck of cards. <clears throat> And it's one of the worst games you can play with a regular deck of cards. All right, we have yeah, a fairly new awesome. game here. Oregon Trail, the card game. Um, mm. Against Hi-Ho Cheerio. Cheerio. So Oregon Trail, the card <clears throat> game. I gave this a two instead of a one because <laughs> I played Jason Levine and he died on turn one. Um, <laughs> like he drew a card that said, you died, and he was out of the game. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> terrible. But <laughs> it was it also though? hilarious. I know. Also, it was Jason. Wow. <laughs> but that's why I get to two. <laughs> and then Hi Ho Cherio, you pick up the little cherries or put them in the little things. It's a very young kid game, it right? Is, yeah. yeah, it is. You probably love it. Because I'm a young kid? No, because you like all the garbage that comes through these. Because uh, I played lists. these and I grew up on them. So, yes, it's a yes. I mean, I think it's an activity for kids. As an activity for kids, it's fine. I don't have like She's a got the party edition of it. to it. So, what? yes. How many accessories does it have? <laughs> Lots of cherries. And, uh, you want to hear the accessories I, that come with Oregon Trail? Dysentery. Right. I think I think higher cherry is within the realm of what it does. It's fine. Hi, Whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah. Oregon yeah. Trail has been uh, killed by dysentery. Man, poor Oregon Trail. Woo. All right. I never played that one, but yeah, that sounds it's, terrible. It is terrible. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Now we have 
Um, I forgot what this one is because it's not my sheet here. What are the next Monopoly. two games? Monopoly. Which one? I forgot that one. I haven't heard of that one. Gross. Against Connect Four. Oh. I feel bad here because I wonder if Monopoly might have made it farther, but people like Connect Four. That Connect basketball four one we played game. is good. Basketball Connect Four is You great. did that one? Where you shoot basketball. into it. Yeah. So it's like the It's had a lot elements. of Dave and Buster type things. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. shoot in the first person. They got it at the theater down there. Oh, That's a good interesting. One. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. That That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, Connect Four is probably one of the best games we're going to look at here today. I agree. And I was just, it's funny because people are like, well, you guys say this about Mopoli. Have you ever played with the correct rules? Yes. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is, yeah. but no. it's not a great game. Yeah, I don't think this is a slam dunk. I just think Connect Four is a better game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Connect Five? That's close. It's it's slightly That's harder. Twenty percent harder. Twenty percent harder. Twenty five percent harder. Maybe. Ooh, I got that wrong. You're right. Wow. But Connect Four is twenty percent easier. Easier. Yes. Correct. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Doesn't look like Monopoly's gonna catch up. So it's out. Oh, man. All right, these next two games are thematically related. <laughs> mm, we have Risk uh, against War. <clears throat> like what is a good flipping point? over a card. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, card yeah. War. Yeah. You flip over a card and see who wins on. against God. Risk. What it isn't oh, good for. I am not a big fan of Risk, but War is just not a game. Not Right, yeah. There's, it's yeah, really bad. Like, it is. War! To be fair, I didn't know it was a game. I thought you just played with a deck of cards. That's the only way I played. It is, but it's still considered a game. Like, hearts could no, be No, I meant, like, uh, I've never seen, like, a box cover for it. Old no, Maid it, is the same thing. Yeah? I've never played with a deck of cards with yeah. that. I didn't realize it could be with a deck of cards. So opposite, kind of, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize War was an actual I think Risk will win. Yeah, yeah, War yeah. is better than um, How are that many people voting for War? <laughs> Some people hate Risk. They might I don't have had a care really if you hate risk. You they don't have... vote for war. Right, to be fair, you I have stain. Right, I hate risk, but <laughs> war yeah. is an abomination. Not a yeah. game, like like it's Joey said. Not garbage. a game. Not a game I'd rather play old maid <clears throat> than war. All right. I don't know. War is quicker. Wow. Next we have. Yeah, That's the quote. Yeah. <laughs> war is quicker. War is quicker than risk. <laughs> All right, two kids' games here. We have The Hungriest of Hippos. Hungry, Hungry oh, Hippos. Oh! Against yes. Memory. Oh, against Slam Dunk, right? Well, memory uh, actually teaches a good skill. Hungry Hippos just teaches kids to mash the table. No, memory, the table. Just, like, uh, and memory they break is just like so a easily. test. It's like, are you good at it or no? No? Cool, you're stupid. I, I consider Hungry, Hungry Hippos to be a test of how no. hungry. These hippos. Oh are. my gosh, no slapping the hippo, watching it come out and waiting until they but get then right they in the perfect bowl. stuck on the marble can... every time and you reach your. Oh, okay, good. I don't I have know. that problem. I use metal hippos. She's a hungry hippo tournament player. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you have the deluxe metal ones. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. I, love I, I love like that a lot. Hippos. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is one that's ripe for innovation. They need to do hippos? something with Hungry Hungry Hippos. Do you want to see Restoration Games seen? do it? That's oh, what I'm talking about. Restoration no. Games Hungry Hippos. Have y'all seen when they do them like life-size ones and so they have like balls in the middle of a um, in the middle of a yes. gym and you're on like a bungee cord and someone's holding the bungee cord and then you like run in or you're on uh, one of those little scooter things and so you have to like crawl in and grab them and then your teammates like pull you back on the bungee. I want to be the teammate oh who's pulling the people back. No, it's like I a first game on game scooter. Pull back! Oh, no, you did it like a gym it's in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh, it yeah. looks so cool. I'm into that. Let's go. I'm buying that today. That's what I want to do for my birthday, Tom. Okay? Live Hungry Hippos. Hungry, hungry Hippos. Hooray so next, hippo. we have the the very anxiety-inducing Perfection. Oh, That's man. The one. Against yeah. Hotel Tycoon, which is a spinoff of Monopoly. And I'm really surprised it's actually in the lowest ones. Because I think Hotel Tycoon's... Pretty decent. You roll dice, you move around this road, you buy these hotels, and then you upgrade them with giant buildings that are like this size. It's really yeah. cool looking. Okay. But I it is it's one. not a great game. Aww. But Perfection, if you if you've ever played Perfection, it is oh, it's one of the most stress inducing games. It really is. is. You're like, oh, oh, the timer's oh, going. I know. The game only lasts like a few seconds, right? Yeah. That's what flips them into yeah, your yeah. eyeballs. That's the whole game? That is the whole game. Yeah. There's actually oh, two like versions. A, There's another one where you have two halves of a square that go together that might be cut like a Swiss cheese sandwich or different ways, and then uh -huh. you have to put them together and then put all the squares in. Oh, I hate that. It sounds like imperfection. <clears throat> it's awful. I think Hotel Tycoon will win 
No! Perfection! God. Really? Mm. Perfection. <clears throat> ha. Ah, surprising. <laughs> oh, perfection. Probably nobody knows Hotel Tycoon. That's the first one no. I've never heard of. I had heard of it. Yeah. All right, the next two, we have <laughs> Trouble, right here in River City, against Battle of the Sexes. Oh, that game that used cover. to get panned so oh my bad, goodness. I remember that. Well, the Battle of Sexes, the reason it gets panned is because the women have to answer men questions, and the questions are like, what do you use to uh, put a screw into the wall that's yeah. electric? It'll be like a drill. And then the men will be like, what garden flower is used in <laughs> December? And even and, the women are like, I don't know. Yeah, right. They right. have no idea either. It's really bad. That's awful. Yeah. That also, the awful. whole basis of the thing is just... It is. Yeah. The game oh, itself yeah. is sexist. Look at the cover. <laughs> and Trouble has the pop o -matic. It's yeah. basically part cheesy with a pop matic You can't beat yeah, yeah. the pop matic you, you can't. Maybe that's what Hungry Hungry Hippos need. <laughs> a pop matic yes. The hippos are like, we cannot get these dice. These right. Get back. right. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> wow. Well, no more Battle of the Sexes. That's over. Man. That is a good one. That's a, that's a slam dunk right there. All mm -hmm. right. Next we have uh, a game that's very similar to War, the commercial version of War, Top Trumps. Against Hangman. Wait, oh, again, so Hangman is a game? Wait, like is that the Hangman print? the same no Hangman idea. you play on paper? Or is that something yeah, different? Yeah, that's the same one. It's the same game, but it's an actual physical version of it. Really? I played it. Top ah. Trumps is like War, except you'll have two things. Like you might, there's like a superhero one. And then they have all their different stats. So before you turn them over, you'll be like, strength. And then you turn them over and whoever has the higher strength wins. Oh. And then, oh. So they, they've made like a gazillion <clears throat> versions of it. Wow. You know, like that one there would be like speed, horsepower, it. whatever okay. it might be. Oh, huh. Jeez. Mm. I don't mind Hangman, so. But again, I think it's because <laughs> it's been Hangman. like a. Time yeah, I think Hangman's passer, better you know? than Top, top Trump's. Yeah. Is. <laughs> I like Hangman as a game. I like it. I don't I you too. Yeah, don't know I don't about buying it's... a copy. I can't imagine of it. what you right. buy. Just do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Is it a top, notepad? Top Trump's. Is a is a thing a lot of people, especially in England, it's more popular where people buy it as a gift. Like, oh, I know you like Doctor Who. Here's Doctor Who top trumps. Oh, Got it. you know, oh, they're you like, flux. You like One Direction? Here's One Direction. I don't know how that one would work. Got it. Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying though. Oh, okay. it's down. Interesting. No, not the band. Left. See? The band. I know, Tom. It's a joke. <laughs> I don't know that you knew. I love All One right. Direction. Okay, it's my favorite band. Let's take some old mm -hmm. games here. One Direction. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I don't know any of their songs. Um, all right. Sorry. It's okay. Or I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Against oh. Payday. The game in which the board is a calendar and you move up the calendar. I don't think I've played Payday. I don't think it's I, a, it, payday I is the I'm ultimate better. almost roll and move where you're like, Moving through a month, good things, bad things happen. You get the payday, get some more money, and then you go through again. Yeah. Oh, you land here, pay some bills and stuff like that. But if you exciting. go past that, then you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. So it's as like, a kid, I was like, "Ooh, this is fun," and my dad was like, "This feels too much like work." I'm like, why would you think that? <laughs> Sorry is part Sorry. cheesy, but instead of rolling the dice, you can play cards. Right. Which, right. to be fair, in that realm is pretty serious innovation. As well as you'll have, like, up to, what, two two of the guys out at a time, so you can also decide which one to move based on the cards you have, so there's a little bit more decision to it. And there's the it. sliding, you know, there's there the is, switch card. Right. Sorry works really well with a hand of three cards. Yeah. And you, you pick can, which one you play. Yeah, yeah. You can actually, like, make... When is the last time you guys played Sorry? Right now, you guys actually. are really... Yeah. I'm very surprised. There we go. Sorry is definitely better, I think. Yeah. Wow. I'm, Come on, <clears throat> folks. I agree. Wow, that's really close. That I'm surprised amazing. how many people think highly of Payday. Actually, no, I think this is a reaction to sorry more than it is liking Payday. That's right. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'm All calling right. it sorry. I guess I got to buy a copy of sorry now. Oof. All right, we're almost halfway through. We now have two very classic games the Roll and Write. Originator Yahtzee against the back porch game Checkers. Oh, okay. That's a tough one, huh? That is a tough one. I like Yahtzee better. These are yeah, both legit classics. I'd, I'd rather play Checkers. I think really? I'd rather Over play Yahtzee? Yahtzee. I think Yahtzee's a good roll and write, especially it's not on here, but Triple Yahtzee's really good. How many? What do you do with that? It's basically you can play Triple Yahtzee with Yahtzee. You just have three rows. So you can write it in any of the rows. Okay. So you have more chances. Oh, I, 
I rolled five ones and I rolled five ones again. Well, great. So, so far, right you've learned you like more times. complicated versions of these games. You don't like Yahtzee, but you like Triple Yahtzee. This you is 100% like, correct. You don't like Guess Who, you like King Double Double, Guess yeah, Who. This yeah, video is a stealth way for me to give you variants in classic games. You like Star Wars or uh, Checkers? It's, uh, you drop them in this tray and you try to get four in a row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's true. That's true. I was Yahtzee. really surprised that Connect Four didn't come with a checkerboard inside it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. Nice you already had the checkers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You got to say though, those, those checkers are super satisfying to see drop in that thing. It, it's a good feeling. Anyway, Yahtzee murdered checkers. So yeah. Oh, I like checkers. Nope. All right. Checkers. Nope. Second half. Ooh. We have the game of life against Tiddlywigs. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Explain to me the Scott. game of Tiddlywigs. So what you? It depends, but it's usually. You're shooting towards a cup, trying to get them in the <clears> cup, <throat> but if they're leaning up against the cup or if they're close to it, you might get some points too. Okay. You know what Tiddly Wings no, is? No, so it's like it's a standard dexterity. It's plastic things, and you press one with another, and it goes boink. It's like preparing you to play, play quarters in college oh, or something. It's, I don't see anything wrong with that. There's not. It's, it's beer fine. pong. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> look at that, look at that yeah. boy's face as he's... <laughs> Watching it, I think he's in awe that the tiddlywink is as big as his head. Those are oh, huge. Uh, yeah. What well, is the point when you yeah. open that box and it's wow. like this big? I know. Long tiddlywinks. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was like a Long game. tiddlywinks. <laughs> they had to ban those. Too many kids got killed. <laughs> um, wow. The game of life, though, is the spinner. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I really dislike oh, the game geez. of life. It's. Wow. Oh. You don't like the spinner? I I, I don't you like the game of it. life. I just no. Spinner's like your grandma's problematic. <laughs> oh, I didn't know where that was going. So I thought like, grandma. I was like, wait, what? I was no, like, like spinner so boring. I was feeling offended for a little bit. I, like, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean, it's to be offensive. Yeah, the spinner is garbage. The popomatic is where it's at. I'm telling you, more games need popomatic technology. I agree. Mm. More games need the, the, the spinner in it. I want Rosen, Uwe Rosenberg to design a game based around that spinner. No, the spinner oh. can. Oh, it just goes too long. I'm like. Stop All right. it. You should be able to stop it. Or, or we yeah. need like a stop button. Uh, Twilight Imperium uses 10 set at dice. Just put like 10 life spinners in there. All right, I'm attacking. <laughs> <laughs> Pachonk. <laughs> I like that, yeah. All right. I got Victor Rex. Pachonk. The next two games, we have an older game called Headache hmm. uh, against a more modern game called Five Second Rule. Five Second Rule is basically name three oceans and you turn it over and a little ball spins down and you have five seconds to name three oceans. Mm hmm Oh, it's I like every other that. party game you've played. And <laughs> Headache is a game That's in true. which you are trying to move around. It's like um, it's a lot like Trouble. In fact, it has the Popmatic. But if you land on another piece, <laughs> if you land on another piece, you uh, you can't move it, which is how you get a headache. Uh, like, oh. So if you are on top of my piece, I can't move till you get off me. Huh. I love that. That's, isn't that um, That's clever? Kind of like the double blocking rule in Parcheesi a little Something bit? Something like that. Mm. I love it. It's got a problematic. Why are we discussing this? Because five second rule is a party game I like a lot. No. It's actually yeah. quite a bit of five second rule. Yeah. You don't like it? No, I have. Like, I mean, I looked. Fine. Like I said, it's like every other party game, but it's one that yeah, that little spinner thing's has. a nice five second timer. It is cool. Yeah, it is like really that. cool. And it's I, funny. I like it that it is. Not, it's not a timer. It's like, a, and it makes that little like sound as it goes. Yeah. It's like those sticks, those Zumbo sticks or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> exactly. Oh, yeah, five no second rule going to yeah, win? Yeah, five second rule for, for sure for me. All right. Well, we've what been talking about this game a lot in comparison to other games, so let's go to the OG Parcheesi mm. against the piece of crap Phase 10. Oh. oh. I don't know Parcheesi. I don't you think can try one. to guess my... my I hate Parcheesi. I, I hate Parcheesi. I've played a lot but of Phase 10. Phase 10 is really? terrible. I've played a lot. I've never played Phase 10, but I have played a lot of Parcheesi. And Parcheesi is a fine old family game. I think it's fine. In mm. fact, they used to own that very printing of it right there. That's not that old, that printing. No, it's not that old. Maybe 10 to 15 years old. I don't know. Phase nice. 10 is so bad, it's vomitous. I think I disliked it the more I played it, but I've played so much of wait, it. Wait, wait, why is the Phase 10 moving up? I'm trying to, trying to shut it down. No, Parcheesi, so is, yeah. Yeah, Parcheesi is, is, is nice. It's a classic. It's kind of like checkers. It's kind of like that style. It's a roll and move, but I put it in my head in sort of that place where I can it's bring nice. it out and play with my mother. You know, I used to play as a little kid. It's like just another abstract game, just like all those, though, right? Like, it's a roll and a, move, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. 
It's it's but it's one of the oldest games on the list too. Yeah, mm. it's, a, it's from it's India classic. from way back when. All righty. Now we have two games, both with electronic components involved. Oh my goodness! The first what? one is Bed Bugs, up against electronic football. Oh man! So Bed Bugs, that bed is shaking, <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 and you're grabbing them with these pseudo chopsticks. Electronic football, you put all the football players there, and you pretend you're playing a game and watch what they do. That one confused me. What is it? How they much control do you have? You it, 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 it shakes it, and they're like moving around. You're like, oh look, I scored a touchdown. Now what? I will say. It's I know Jeff Engelstein has designed a modern game based on this really? thing. Really? But you can you have no control over that one. Well, this one. The new, yeah, but the not new. much. There's like a little bit. You can like make the guy's arm go back and try to pass it. <laughs> that being said, I love it. I do it, it's so dumb, and I love it because it's just neat to watch the football players run around. The way the board moves, they the technology behind it. Oh no, bed bugs sounds interesting to me though. Again, just that, that frenetic kind of like, ah, I'm trying to get it, you know, a little bit of dexterity. A couple of years ago, the yeah, electronic football people showed up at Gen Con. Oh, they, really? They were like, we're bringing it back. Really? And I kept going by the booth and like, do you need a review? <laughs> 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 they, they didn't know anything about the board game industry. Sure, sure. I almost bought one, but then I was like, where are we going to put this? Because they're yeah. huge. When I was a kid, that was like the game. Yeah. If you own that game... You were on a richer tier than the rest of the kids. You could put it like yeah. in the Did dexterity. You have it? No. Because I was about to give some stink eyes at your <laughs> Oh, no, I wish. You could put it in like the dexterity area, Dice Tower East or something like that. <sighs> dexterity area. Yeah. dexterity. Camille's giving me an excuse to buy it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, remember when we're done to show you the new crocodile board? Oh, um, yeah. All right, who Ooh. won there? I, I missed it. Let's try football. Let's try football. Okay, this next one has two games that are both so terrible. Have fun voting on this. We have LCR mm. against the Ungame. I don't remember oh, the no, Ungame. No. Oh, oh here, I have to help you out. So the yeah. other day, uh, a boy ran up to you and called you an idiot. How do you feel? So it's therapy. It is literally, that's the game. You roll and move, and they'll be like, share a story about a time where you didn't feel good as... To be fair, I feel like we've seen a lot of projects like that on Kickstarter recently. Non-competitive. Everybody wins. Oh. <laughs> Does it come with mini trophies for everybody? The world's everybody? most popular self-expression game. They have to like really clarify that because if they took any of those words out, it's, it's a lie. The world's... I hate them I... both. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I guess I have to go for the ungame. I do find it funny two. that the LCR literally doesn't have LC and R on it. Not it, anymore. It, it, it shows the center yeah. right now. People are like, what does L mean? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I need an FAQ. <laughs> We're a player. Oh, wow. People hate the odd game a lot. Wow. <laughs> that would be my vote is LCR. I know that some people have gone through some very traumatic thing where they've like a teacher or an aunt forces you to play the end game yeah and then it's a really awkward situation yeah. like you and your cousins and are like tell us something you're afraid of like uh not here right yeah. <laughs> not oh, here. Just like, so weird no. that like forced sharing and yeah no mm. all right this next one we have fact or crap which is a party oh, game. oh yeah Against played that one. Crossfire, crossfire. Which is oh, a really come on now. This yeah. is abysmal that Crossfire is this right this oh, low. Yeah. No, crossfire yeah. It's cra is crossfire. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> Didn't we get this for the Dice Star Dexterity? I thought we did. What was the flicking rubber band one you got? I'm gonna get this one too. I mean that one you just got the one where you pull the rubber band, you shoot four people. Yeah. Crossfire yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like Crossfire yeah. with a rubber band. With a rubber band it doesn't have gun. the, the activator. It doesn't have the gun, but you just bought it. Oh, yeah, yeah, one. yeah. What's that called now? The That's pa crap. Passe de... <laughs> okay, that, this is Crossfire's fact. Passe that trap. Crap. crap. <laughs> anyway, Crossfire's way... There's no way fact or crap yeah, wins no, this no. one. I still no. remember the commercials for this. Crossfire? For crossfire? And the loser kid spins off into the <laughs> into the ether. Oh, look at that! Oh, my God. Uh, crossfire. That was a wow. Wow. Crossfire. Wow. Crossfire. So I think bad. we have a new number one seed. Crossfire wow. is going to no, tear through it. it. That could take the whole thing. Yeah. Brain. It might be. All righty. Next we have Cooties against oh. Kerplunk. Now, oh, both of these games are really old. I mean... Both I Some of the oldest games on the list. I don't Most? know. I know Cootie, but I have no idea about it. I've never it's played it. It's roll a die. You get that body part, build it. First person to build it wins. Okay, uh, so Kerplunk. Really so Kerplunk is better. 
Yeah. Kerplunk's funny though because you're like you're pulling a secret like oh someone drops a marble someone drops I'm like oh, I wonder who will get the most marbles then one person pulls it and 80 oh, falls through yeah. and you're like oh. okay that's the game yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> it happens every time. I like her plunk though. That's a, yeah. it's a I fun. Too. That's a fun one. It's like you Jenga, roll. but with a little bit more because there's not one game that ends. It's that like slow crawl towards the. You know, it's yeah. like an extended angst. Yeah. I'd play her plunk right now. They I want to get a Cthulhu her plunk that they made. It was kind of like a Cthulhu her plunk. Remember that yes. game? Yes. What? what was that? It might yeah. be in a dice armor, but I might it? have pulled it. I don't know no. how big it was. Oh, it wasn't yeah. that big. It's just that when the balls fall, that something bad happens to Tower you. Tower of Madness or something, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean something bad happens to you? Like it's like there's like a game built around something it. Bad. <laughs> you have this, <laughs> you have this electrical <laughs> device <laughs> on your forearm, <laughs> and you'll feel it. Yeah. If it's in the library, you should look at it because you probably ah, like that stuff. Yeah, Consider yeah. how many garbage games you've liked. I tried to buy it. I bought a giant version of Kerplunk. Yes. How big? Uh, yay. Like from the floor. Uh, okay. The, oh, prob the, the problem was the sticks were very bad quality. You couldn't poke them all the way. I, I finally got rid of it because it was just really? it was a bad quality mm. thing. <gasps> I want to play with human limbs <laughs> going through it. <gasps> you could do that. If everybody oh, has to put their hand <laughs> in the middle and then it's like your turn, you have to pull out one of your hands. The next contest is between two animals. Past the pigs, rolling some pigs. Okay. Against the stronghold game Bear Valley. <laughs> Whoa, is this in the bottom? Whoa. It is. What? Oh, that's a Carl Chutta game. Yes, it is. And I don't want to like ruin anything, but that cover of Bear Valley is the best piece of artwork in that game. Really? It's so bad looking. I mean, yeah, it's, it's Path of Pigs, Pigs is going to win this just because people are going to think it's really Is that funny. like the same image from Cocaine Bear, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is cocaine bear. That's it before he like lost it. his job and he went down <laughs> the trail. This is the prequel. <laughs> this is the, the cocaine bear. bear. Valley, yeah. He just his life just Pass took a the turn. pigs is the game where you roll two pigs, and if you're lucky, you can go to a convention where they have giant ones you can throw. It's literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, how big? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've been saying that a lot about a lot of these games. Too. There's a giant version. Game of the year. It says right on there. <laughs> they don't tell you. They don't tell you what year. <laughs> okay. Have you guys played Pass oh the Pigs? My no. God. I think so. <laughs> Is it the one where like the pig lands on its <laughs> yeah, side it's like, or something? So it's like rolling meeples, like yeah. and you get points. Yes. Well, you get that. points, but if you it's like rolling heights, and then you just keep rolling until you decide to stop and bank your points, or you bust. Make it's bacon. Fine, yeah. That was a game too, right? No, that is no that's its tag. That's line. a tagline. Make it bacon. <laughs> the making bacon game. So let me explain to you. There's a certain way the pigs can land. Oh, the next, uh, next category. <laughs> <In real life. laughs> I forget this one too, Chris. Oh, uh, these? Operation, oh. Operation against Go for Broke. Go for Broke, a game where you're trying to lose all your money. Yeah. An operation, a game where the person's awake and you're digging around <laughs> inside them. Yeah, well, if you notice, their eyes are open the whole they, time. I'm yeah. that together. That's hilarious. Uh, also, what is the buzzing supposed to signify? Them screaming? Oh, no, I, I think it's like, you, to do no, it. I That's think, terrifying, I thought it was like you like yes. make an artery or something. It's like okay. Yeah. Actually, though, the the story of the guy who made this game, um, he was playing one of those carnival games where you don't touch the yep. metal piece. Yeah, yeah, oh. right. And, that, and so he thought, well, what if I made that a board game? And I forget what he did. He did something else, and then they're like, but what if we did it and human body type thing? But then they decided to make it silly. You're pulling out a. The bucket Butterfly, of water, yeah. butterflies, yeah. 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 His funny the bone. Funny bone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a kid, I I thought this game was great. That broken heart, though, so hard to get out. If you oh, look yeah. online, like I rounded. believe there's a Wish version bone. of this where they plugged it into the wall. Yes. <laughs> so that. Come on. No, I'm serious. Uh, I, we're playing for for higher stakes here. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <We're> broke. <laughs> the best though is if somebody's got. Wait, I forgot one. Like, Oh, Operation, oh. One. Operation, Operation One. One. Operation One. Hey, John, hey. thank you for the super chat. Have yes, fun at UK you. Games Expo. We wish we were there. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. All right. <laughs> Next, we have two games that are often played without buying the game. First, we have Would You Rather. Mm. Okay. Um, or char against charades. Or dramatic charades. charades. Dramatic charades. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather oh. a game... I want to have a copy of that dramatic charades <laughs> and just make everything way over the top, like <laughs> sipping water. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, what is, you know, you have to go way, way above. Act like you can't even. <sighs> Me and my kids play Would You Rather, like if we got to eat, we're just sitting no. there waiting. We'll play this for a long time. There's a lot of apps that do it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Of course, you always games. turn off that, <laughs> make sure it's family friendly. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah. This game I was super would you popular. Rather. That yeah. I remember seeing that Zob Mondo logo Charades. and the Would You Rather box everywhere for years. Yeah, it was like as popular as Cranium there for a little while. Yeah. But Would You Rather? See, I'm surprised yeah. Charades is so high because Charades is one of those games that so many people I know will be like, please don't, please don't, please don't. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think I the people that like Charades like Charades, and the people that don't are like, gosh, I hate that. You know, it's like that forced creativity kind of thing. Like, I really dislike Charades. I'd play Would You Rather, though. Um, the only time Charades works anytime. is Time's Up. It works at the third round of that. I agree. But that's because there's a build-up. Right. Have you ever played Charades against a per where the, the person stood up and was like this, and they're like, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> yeah, and like, right. what? Yeah. Okay, no. Oh, I forgot, you guys are the same person. Right. Split into two bodies. <laughs> yeah. Not fun yeah. to play games against, though. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. It's like that movie, what's that, the one we just talked about this morning, the uh, Rachel Me? McAdams, the... Oh, well, game, game Night. night. Yes. Game Night. There's yes. a little bit of that in the very beginning. Yeah. It's really right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right. A classic, Battleship, against oh. Don't Break the Ice. Oh, Don't uh, Break the Ice is another good one. I Man, do I like that really one. Like, you really like this line of games, the cootie games. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I played a lot of them. <laughs> They're like, I didn't realize that's what it's called at the top. They are. The it, I mean, it's, well, I played a lot of these growing up, you know? Like, yeah. this is kind of the stuff did you not that play was Battleship available. Girl? I did. I just hated it. I played Battleship it's so random. as a kid, but actually, <laughs> like, I played a different game, which was kind of like Battleship as a game, with my dad when I was very young. Which we played on a sheet of paper folded in half, and you would draw some ships on, on like really? half of the oh. page. And then what the other player has to do is you'd color in a dot on the other side, and then you fold the paper over and see if the dot, like, then, then like, right on the oh, back of the dot, and see if the dot is within the ship. I that's want to impressive. Play that. that sounds super fun. Like, yes, wow. that's so really. It's like a grid you can't see, so you just kind of like look at the two sides, and you're like, about there, hits about there. So you color it, fold it, color it on the back, and then see where the dot showed up. Yeah, it's that's this pretty thing impressive. That I just huh. with him. Wow. A couple sheets of paper. Don't wow. break the ice is a bad game because there's this big square block in the middle uh -huh. and all these little ones. And every game, once you know how to play, every game ends up where there's yeah. one row, one column, mm -hmm. and then it's your turn, and you're like, well, I lost. There's I mean, no. You can it's figure like out Jenga, right? I mean, it's just like horizontal no, but Jenga. Jenga. You can always. It's, I've never seen Jenga come down to just the middle ones all the way up. I've also. I mean, yeah. if you set it up like that way, I mean, you can work against that as you're going, though. If you know that's the way, I, I've I've had that happen once, and then that's the only time. Because from then on, we know that, and we're working against that, trying to outdo it, or so I guess setting the other person up for failure. Are we so discussing strategy like right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is the longest strategy discussion on Don't Break the Ice in <laughs> decades. <laughs> in decades. We you could write a book right now, and it would be the authoritative book on Don't, Don't Break, break the, the Ice. Games. The designer would give you an award. All right. I met the designer of this game a few weeks ago. Try Bond, and it's going up against Crocodile Dentist. So, Tripod <laughs> is a game where they give you three things, and you what are they three things that have in common? Very, very popular, sold millions of copies. Okay. You probably all played Crocodile Dennis, and you just don't realize. It's just that plastic alligator mm -hmm. head where you press the yeah, teeth down yeah. so it snaps on you. Yeah. There's a shark version. There's yeah. a lot of different versions. I just played versions. that. That's actually, of all of these games, probably the one I've done the most recently. I so, used to use it as a start my, marker. Uh, my sister's and the little one over there has this thing. Just It was on the ground, so mm -hmm. I grabbed it, and I'm like, okay, let's see. Yeah. And then it snaps and you scream and it doesn't hurt at all. No, nah, yeah. Yep. It's like perfection. But Tri Bond is an actual better game. Yeah. It's like So Clover. I was, I was thinking, it's like So Clover, any yeah. of those trying to make those associations. It's a prequel. Woo! Ooh. That's close. That is wait, wait, close. Wait, wait, wait. Look oh, at that. Oh, there it goes. Where are we going? Oh, no. Wow, that bar's just swinging. Go, Tri Bond. Go. Go, Tri Bond. Oh. No, no, it's not going to do it. Thank you, John Miguel, for the super chat. Tribon sounds like... Maven Second Edition just announced. Was it? Oh, wow. I know. So Tribon tri sounds like So Clover. Does that mean it's a nature game? Yes. All right. Joey is our resident nature expert. Next, we yes, have... I am. The kid game <laughs> Go Fish. 
Yes. Oh. Against Chinese checkers. Oh, okay. Go Fish is one of these, like, just decks of cards yeah. kind of games that but, they then sold a themed deck for. But I have but never costs, played Chinese checkers. It's, it's always so on the awful. back of what? What is it? It's always on the back of like those games, right? Like any other and all that. Yeah. Stuff. Like, it's just the same as all of them, though. Oof. You really don't like abstract games, I though. really don't. I like really like all, Chinese checkers. You really like disgusting games. That are quick. Go fish. Yeah. I can play go fish and five <laughs> <minutes>. Chinese <laughs> checkers. I'm throwing against the wall after five seconds. Pirani seven, seven. tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would play yeah, go fish that's... because it's... puts you out of your misery quicker. Go fish is just kind of guessing. You're like, I want to be put out of my misery. Just fish. play 52 pickup. <clears throat> Well, Chinese, Chinese checkers, checkers one. I guess I'd play that over game. both of these, probably. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, the next one we have a very famous game my daughter just played yesterday. Not with me though. Zelda. Uno. Uno's fire. Against Ooh. Cheater. Now there's a lot of versions of Cheater. Cheater's the oh, most common cheater? one. Cheater is it's a game where you roll a bunch of dice and you get points for, and I think it's like ones and sixes. Uh, or combinations of things, and then you can keep it or you can roll again. Isn't there cards also, though, in Cheater? I thought there Wait, were dice and it. cards. Oh, you're right. I don't remember. Just yeah, the ultimate card game, so I guess there's cards. Um, I don't remember it. It's a piece it is of fucking crap. It's like the ultimate much. card game. It shows a pair of dice. <laughs> <laughs> right there. You're like, that's because dice are the better. <laughs> no, so Uno's, much better cards. Uno's definitely the better game here. Yeah, but I have you Uno's played... Everybody wins. Uno gets a lot of Uno gets a lot of garbage, but it's the better game between these yeah. two. I have not played Dose. There's also do? that Uno Flip. Have you played that? Did you do? Yes. Uno All Those Skips awesome. or All, all wild. wild? All Skips. <laughs> oh, yeah. What does that even do? You're like Skip, 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 Skip. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Skip. <laughs> Uno All Skips. I love it. All That's right. Pretty good. Oh, the man. next are two physical games. What? We have uh, Twister. Yes. Against Pie Face. Oh, oh I love Pie Face. I love Pie Face. Pie Face is good. It's course, so good. You do. <laughs> Pie Why Face? don't we play the, that, that game on like our Pie Face sounds streams. like a villain. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be so much. Yeah. I'd play that. Do you have your like, thing here when you play Pie Face? Live, Tom. Right. We've done Pie Face oh, live. Oh yes. my gosh. We've I love never it. done Twister live, and as a heads up. We never will. I, I, <laughs> I was getting really worried. I, say, I don't think Twister should ever be recorded, but I do enjoy the game. <sighs> We're not doing it not recorded. Just as I thought. There's not hidden footage, folks. <laughs> this ain't happening. <laughs> it's not happening, Thank okay? You <laughs> I, the last time I played Twister, and I, and I regret this greatly, was Flip Flurry made Twister of Catan and convinced <laughs> me to play it. And, yeah, that's <sighs> terrible. Is there footage of that? Anyway. <laughs> I think there was a picture. I'm going to find that picture. <laughs> I'm willing to pay for that picture. Wow. Anyway, no, Pie Face is, uh, is pretty good. It is, yeah, yeah. Twister was made popular when it showed up on The Tonight Show. Oh, um, Twister won. Wow, that's Pie sad. Face was made popular because there was that commercial where the kid got hit in the face and his grandfather from Germany just kept laughing and laughing. It was a viral video for a while. I want that amazing race watermelon the face that lady takes. <laughs> I still love watching that. All right. I didn't watch it Next all the time. and last, we have uh, another. This is easy to say I'm cheating here, but we have Electronic Battleship, which is also ranked very low. Okay. Against Candyland. We started with Shoots and Otters, we end with Candyland. Wait, what is this Electronic Battleship? Again, Battleship is better. Wait, electronic wait, Battleship wait. does what? Just records it for you? You can A, oh. play against the computer, oh, you and can. B, yeah. it made sounds for you. So okay. we put the same game in twice? No. No, it's, this is Electronic Battleship. Yeah, it's Electronic Battleship. Totally different. It's very different. It's These very are nuclear. Different. When you were a kid, I owned Battleship. Yeah, I dreamed of owning Electronic Battleship. Mm. And the football one. That is a terrible argument. You know no, what? No, have you ever Camilla, owned... you try to find the bottom 64 games. It was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I had, do you I had to make some, some judgment calls. Do you like Battleship? King no. Santa here. Do you like Electronic Battleship? No. You should have said, I already answered Ooh, the question. Electronic Battleship. Oh, man, I got got. <laughs> All right, Candyland is out. All right, that was round one. Moving up. I want to see Battleship go up against Electronic Battleship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> it might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I, we're just going to see these as they show up because I don't have them the written in front of me. So let's see what happens here. I think it's pick up sticks against don't spill the beans. Oh, this is Ooh. a hard one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No, sticks it. beats beans. 
I was going to say beans. I want to play electronic pickup sticks. <laughs> Pick up sticks is a sequel to Kaplunk. That's what you, you do afterwards. You like a I play pick up sticks, but with matches. Don't pull the stick out too fast. Or the game oh, is over. That would be oh, so oh, good. You play a oh. kerosene tank. Yes. <laughs> yep. And the, the sticks are matches. They're covered in phosphorus. When I was a kid, there was pretty, there was long matches, right? They yeah. were starting they grills. They still have those. Yeah. Do they, they still use them? They have those lighters now. Why do you need to? It's very. They make them. What's happening? You get them like really <laughs> high fluffy. I gotta go. Yeah, with, pick up sticks! Yeah, there I, we go. I haven't played pick up sticks, but don't spill the beans. Sounds more fun. I like this tent, uh, you know, the little like bouncy guy putting the beans in there. That sounds more they're, fun. They're really both. I mean, they're just different kinds of dexterity. I'm kind trying of thing. to remember if only one has beans. The copy so. of my so. copy of Don't Spill the Beans. I think they were real beans. No. Is that because you beans. lost the ones no, that like came with it? Yeah, because those were well, lost like forever. It came with beans in there, like in a pinch, you could eat them. In like a pinch? Like if you were like in some sort of apocalyptic event. It's like, kids, oh rape the gosh. board games. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one, no, we find those those Philippines. We're like, oh! <laughs> the neighbors are knocking. Does anyone in chat, does anyone remember that? Like, I, I thought they you, were real beans. Are you sure you didn't replace the beans that came with it? You know what? My mother might have done that. Oh, yeah, she saying. lost the beans a long time ago. I think my brother stuck off the nose. Right. like, the next ones will be organic. <laughs> <laughs> they will decompose eventually, <laughs> son. We're not going again. Oh, that may man. be true. Okay. All right. What do we got next? It's Mousetrap <laughs> against... Wait, which one won? Oh, who did win the last one? Um, the, uh, Pick Up Sticks won. Did it? Okay. <sighs> Mousetrap against Ants in the Pants. Mousetrap. I don't know be. Ants in the Pants, but she'd love it because it's one of the cootie games. I don't think, no, it's a preschool game. No, it is a coo in the cootie is line. It? Is it? Yeah, no. the logo's on the it's back. It's got the, the cootie line. Oh, God, okay. Uh, what, what's Ants okay, in the Pants? Okay, people did have ones with real beans <clears throat> besides me. Some people did. I remember real beans. Do you? Okay. Somebody it's, had plastic beans. Is it because you were young and you didn't know the difference, though? It's true. Tasted better. Well, that's fair. That's a, that's a fair argument. I'm going. Are you still going to mousetrap? Because I know you like Billy I'm the Pants. I'm going mousetrap. Billy the Pants was so fun. Hands in the pants. It's like tiddlywinks. You you press. Like, you know those they things flip? you press the back yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they jump. And that's what oh, they're those are fun, the pants. though. Okay. I know, but until oh, they get flat, then you have to like kind of <laughs> yeah, push you them back push the legs yeah. in. Mousetrap. Wow. Mousetrap. Mousetrap right. is where it's at. Mousetrap. Take it off. Yep. All right. Good. Good. What do we got next? Ooh, it's Rock'em Sock'em Robots against Triominoes. Sorry, Triominoes. Rock'em Sock'em. Triominoes is probably a better game. Rock'em Sock'em Robots, you just, again, it's a very hungry, hungry hippos type thing. Yeah. You can sit there and be like, but this time I'll punch slower. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> your oh your head will just not go up. I hate that. There's like, also, there's like variants of this that are other things that are punch. I'm, yes. I think there's a Star Wars one that yeah, lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but nothing beats the OG of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Also, they used to be metal no too. question, it's one of the best names of a game ever. Rock'em oh, Sock'em right, Robots. Yeah. Absolutely. It's great. Absolutely. It feels punchy. It rolls off the tongue. It's oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Triominoes is trying. Closer than it should have been. It's Triominoes. <laughs> I play a lot of triominoes though, like in high school geometry class, like the last 10, 15 minutes the teacher had it, you know, yeah. Did you feel really? superior to people who play with just dominoes? You did, didn't you? No, I was I just happy did as kid. I was like, oh, geometry, I don't know. You, your family <laughs> plays with dominoes? I was such a jerk. <laughs> Snotty kid, I was like, there was one kid in the back of the class who was like, I'm was playing you. polyominoes. <laughs> and that kid was Uwe Rosenberg. <laughs> All right. Rock'em Sock'em wins, the rest yay! Of the story. All right, what do we have here? We got guess who against Hi Ho Cherry. Hi Ho Cherry. Wow, jeez. Oh, See you later, cherries. Gotta be guess who. Yeah. yeah, guess who is is much better. It yeah. is. And they've made a bunch of versions of this too. I was say, yeah, I just played a Harry Potter one. It wasn't mm. guess who specifically, but it was something the same suspects. game. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it like a? It's like shows Harry Potter people. Mm-hmm. What was the name They're of like, it? Like so, who um, died in movie seven? And something like spoilers. No, no. It was. <laughs> oh gosh, what was it? What was it called? <laughs> No, it wasn't Similo. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It's sitting on my shelf at home. I don't know. I'll Guess tell you tomorrow. Guess who, Potter? I don't know. It was a Harry Potter the movie. with Not the same everybody. mechanism. Wow! Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess yeah. who's killing it? I'm, I'm waiting for the spinoffs. Guess what? <laughs> guess where? Why guess is why? guess what? Guess why is really guess the what? intellectual one. <laughs> That's called the end game. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, next we got... 
Risk up against Connect Four. Oh man! This would be such a slap in the face if Connect Four wins. Why? Whoa. Because people, there are people that still love Risk. There are people would, that love Connect I Four. I choose Connect Four. I would say Connect Four. Also, Connect Four is one of the most iconic covers, and also iconic lines. What's the line from Connect Four? Four in a row. No, pretty sneaky, sis. What? You don't remember that? Really? No. Dropping it. Am I no. wrong there? Yeah. No, yeah. it's from Risk. It's not from Risk. <laughs> <laughs> she comes and takes Australia. Pretty sneaky, <laughs> sis. Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> Enjoy turtling, sis. <laughs> I thought it was pretty sneaky, sis. It's like the line for Connect Four. What's it like from the commercial? I thought it was from Jurassic Park. But okay. <laughs> no, that's clever, sis. Clever. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, anyway. All right, risk so Risk it is. Yeah. Actually, I thought uh, Connect Four could have gone... Could have gone People further if it wasn't up against. I would have voted yeah, for Connect Four. I would have that I would, I would as well, too. for sure. All righty, what do we got next? Are we back to the hungry, hungry hippos? Oh yeah! yeah. I don't know what it is, oh, but here it should we go. Win. Let's go do it. Versus perfection. Oh, oh. again, easy. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah, this is a pretty this easy one. How did perfection get past the last round? I don't know. <laughs> what was it up against? The ungame, maybe? <laughs> oh. It was a Tycoon. That's... It's a weird one because Hotel okay. Tycoon. If people played it, I bet it would be number one. Yeah. Okay. I would hungry, vote for perfection hippos. here because no, really, no. it's stressful. But if you beat it, it's so satisfying. No, sir. No. no. Getting those hippos to eat all of those <laughs> is more satisfying. Plus, the original it printing is. of Hungry Hungry Hippos came with real beans. <laughs> it did. The problem with yeah. perfection at the end, you're either really angry because when it finally snaps, you're like ah, or you just have like angst for the next hour because you beat it, but you're like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> there's no winning in perfection. <laughs> like, what's the matter? You come to work and like. Play play perfection. Perfection. Play perfection. Or, I'm like, or I'm just like angry because that that like angst was you know snapped with with okay well just, like set me over the edge. Left. I'm okay. just like I yeah so hungry hungry hippos because I can uh, get them. Which one won? Hungry hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry, hippos. Good one. good. We need that life size version though. Oh, it's so good. Alrighty, it's next so we good. have uh, what's it? Trouble against. Hey, man. Hangman. Got to be trouble. Oh, Hangman. Uh, Hangman is a better game, but I think. But it's not, but you don't buy it. I get that. I, you yeah. can buy it. I have owned this. What? I think it's a really? better game what than Trouble. What is included in the box? Hangman. Letters. <laughs> no, really? You're asking the question. No, it'd be like it'd be like in uh, Dead by Daylight. It'd be like one of those little things, and you just like slowly put parts up on the hook. Yeah, but actually. Oh, it's like a horror version. <laughs> Like you See, build a dead I'd body. No yeah, joke. The letter thing's nice because they all come on like those little racks and you snap them down as people guess them. Oh, yeah. I that guess works that well. Yeah. Come on. Don't be hating on it. Also, look at that guy. That's a very flattering picture. <laughs> that <laughs> is. Of you know what that Kong. reminds me of what you're saying? I've never seen that version, but it reminds me of Letter Flip, which is a word game that also has like kind of like the guess who rack. Yeah. You can flip yeah, things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That letter flip game is. There's something good. satisfying about mm. slapping those things down. There is, like eliminating your options. Yeah. I almost put number boxes on the list. Yeah. That's one. Shut the box. Yeah. Or shut the box, right. All right. Now we have. Uh, sorry versus Yahtzee. Oh. My vote's 100% yeah, with Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Yeah, Yahtzee. Yeah, Yahtzee on this one. Sorry Sliders is good, but that's a very different game and it's ranked much higher. Yahtzee delicious. Sliders is good. But Yahtzee doesn't have a sliders good Sliders are good. If, but, like, if you shout Yahtzee, that's exciting. Right. But that doesn't happen most games. But the Sorry, where I go, Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been so much. I've started so many fights. <sighs> oh, man, me and my brothers and sisters fought so much over sorry. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My brother would cry because he didn't realize that if you stopped in the slide, someone could slide and kill you because yeah. someone didn't explain the rules well to him. Mm. I started yeah. at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> Badly explaining rules. Jeez. Wow. That was wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that's, that seems well, right. Well, here's what we say to you, sorry. Sorry. Get out wow. of my tournament. Get out. All right. Next round. What do we got? Is it life? The game of life versus five second rule. <laughs> versus every party. Every time these two games have been mentioned in the same breath. Yeah. Oh, Unless man. it was an Amazon buy one, get one 50% off. That is probably very often, yeah. I have not played five second rule. I'm going to go with five second rule. I would too. I'd say five down. second rule. Yeah, but you can't become a millionaire in five second rule. But you can avoid <laughs> having to play the game of life. That game Which is sucks. a win. Mm. But you get to drive a little car and fill it with people. I need, it, I need two cars to get my family around. <laughs> what? Game of life. Wow. Guys, what? Really? I, I don't like party games, and I straight That's up would have said five-second rule. 
Wow. The problem is nobody knows what five second rule is. You put a yeah a game that <coughs> isn't as recognizable up there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I Not think everybody should vote for five second rule. All right, next we have. Yeah, we've had like two or three questions in chat about how we're voting. It might be good to like remind that we're voting for the better of these two games, even though it's the worst. We're not voting for the worst. Right, and if you're in chat, Chris is putting links in chat for each of the matchups. Yeah. So you click that link and you can vote. You can vote right now. You. Vote for the on better the one. Yes. All right, now we have, is it Parcheesi? Mm-hmm. Or is this electronic football? Parcheesi gets oh electronic football. <laughs> Not even close this for me. Right. Right. I'd go with Parcheesi. That like other game sounds ridiculous. I'd go with five second rule. All right, so when I get it, <laughs> you're not going to get to look at it. Okay. I'm, I'm, can I'm you also football get a copy of Parcheesi? I want one to be here in the studio. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It almost. <laughs> so and loud. then it would break because it was not a great piece of equipment. No. Sounds like uh, a nightmare. Oh, it was so great. Uh, I was so jealous when I owned it. Oh, like Parcheesi's winning, but it's close. Oh, no. It's not that close. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's within five, it's five catching. six. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, now. Don't you want us to have electronic football? Yeah, it's true. I'm not getting for the library if it doesn't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to play it at Dice Tower East? <laughs> That's manipulation. <laughs> oh, what? man. It's a clean game. <laughs> <sighs> Parcheesi is, uh, oh. yeah, it's, I, I, I like Parcheesi. Electronic Parcheesi. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, where are we at now? LCR, LCR against whatever's going to beat it. Crossfire. <laughs> oh, Crossfire oh, done. Absolutely. Done. Do, yeah. we, do we even need to run the poll on this one? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see yeah. how far into the 90s it goes. <laughs> I will Feel say, bad. I think Crossfire, I'm putting my money on Crossfire taking the whole thing. I am too. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. There's Yahtzee also gets a lot of risk. It, yeah, but Mousetrap might do it. I want to play Crossfire, crossfire again, cards. just looking at that. Crossfire. Doesn't it? Your finger hurts after playing it. It does. Because you pull that trigger. Snap, snap, snap. But it's totally snap. worth it. Oh, see, you said 90, but that is, oh, it is 90. <laughs> Uh, 90, 90, almost 92, 92. Come on, 92. I want to know what people in their right minds are saying LCR. They've never played Crossfire, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's people don't know. And they're like, so oh, it's good. not that bad. Hey, that was close. Anyone could have won. I don't know why we closed the poll so early, but all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kerplunk against Pass the Pigs. Oh, Kerplunk. I've Kerplunk. never played Pass the Pigs, but... I don't know. I, I, don't, pigs is like, I like to push your luck. There's more of a game in Pass the Pigs. I don't mind more Kerplunk, of a game. though. Like, I, I don't mind Kerplunk. Rolling I don't get that. I don't get that right now, I'd rather play Kerplunk. Yeah. Kerplunk That's is true. a fun activity. It's like a yeah. fun... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, activity. pulling it out and seeing what word. happens is fun. Exactly. Also, it's a crossover with pickup sticks. Yeah. They're the same great. things, actually. Basically, right? The little yeah. sticks. Did they come bundled together? Mm-hmm. You pick it up afterwards. No. That would but, be but a smart thing. But you made me great. Think. They, they like, should sell those two games together. They with didn't one do chess, component. checkers, and connect fours. So why would they do that? Yeah, but that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, they should sell them all at Taco Bell KFCs. Did you ever? Did anyone here own a ten and one set of of games? I don't think I've ever yeah. owned one. Yes, I played yep. one of them. I think. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I've yep. ever owned yeah. one. And they came in have. tins sometimes. Yes, yeah. the worst. <laughs> Oh, and they were so large that they Wait, were definitely getting dented. Won. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. who won that one? Kerplunk. I think it was Kerplunk. Yeah, Kerplunk! Yes. By a lot? Yeah, what's that? All right, now we have charades against... Operation. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, dramatic, dramatic, dramatic charades. Dramatic. charades. Dramatic. How dare you? I think charades will take it, but I would absolutely play. Charades. I go operation over I, charades. I play operation over it, absolutely. It depends. There are some groups charades would be fun in, but... I am not part of that group. Well, I know. But that's like, I agree. Like, I am not part <laughs> no of No one's group. arguing this. Like, what we're no saying. We all, we all <laughs> agree. I do not want to play in a dramatic way. <laughs> no one is arguing that. <laughs> all right. Operation's pretty, pretty yeah. silly. That's fun. Okay. I don't know. This, is, I, this might be a close one. Let's there are see. a lot of operations out there. No, it's not close. Okay. Hey. Yeah, operation's fun. We have the BB-8 operation. There's, there's 75 people right there. Those are my people. There was, there was a, a Shrek bunch. one. <laughs> Shrek, <laughs> yeah. Saxons, Shrek. R2-G2. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> What's going on? They've Which, done it all. They've done it all, yeah. Yeah. All right, we got Battleship against Tribond. Electronic Tribond. Oh, we'll go Battleship. By the way, if the designer of Tribond ever offers Tribond. to do a, a, a speech, he's really good. 
He knows a lot about gaming history and stuff. I was very impressed oh, with him. interesting. Yeah. But I'm still voting huh. for Battleship. Yeah, I agree. I think Tribond. Yeah, I'm a fan of Battleship. Really? See, I'm, I'm more Tribond. I'd rather... Again, looking for those weird connections, that kind of stuff. Battleship is just who gets lucky first and... Yeah. There's a strategy. lot of strategy in Battleship. <laughs> e... Seven. You put your ships on top of each no, other. No, no, you go E, E, S, and you see the tilt uh, head. Oh, yeah. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Especially the electronic battleship. Because the computer, you can watch for glitches. It's like. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. Beep, beep, beep. All right, where are we? You uh, sank my tribond. <laughs> Uno against Chinese checkers. I hate them both. Mm. I can't Uno. see Uno not winning this one because yeah, it's just such a it. popular game. And it's better than Chinese checkers? Yeah, Uno's better. Z, I wonder if you would like Chinese checkers. I've played Chinese checkers, Tom. Oh, oh, really? oh you said you did. I really thought no, I you would like it. it. It seems like one that you would like. Chinese checkers is like an interesting mid-game and then a really boring beginning and end. Really? <laughs> I think the beginning and end are boring. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that this, then the, the second fifth and the la fourth fifth are interesting. That middle third is interminable where the whole board is clogged. I like that part. The oh. rest is just like, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in again. I'm in, yeah. like that. The beginning and the end where you're just coming out and going out. It's the middle where you're like, I'm going to hop over here. But but no, it's not good. It's not good. <coughs> Checkers is ten times better. Plus Uno is better, I mm. think. Wow. You're correct. There you go. Uno is better by a mm -hmm. factor of 61. All right. Our yeah, last matchup yeah, of this yeah. one, we have Twister <laughs> against fun. Electronic Battleship. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we will. Yeah. What about Electronic Twister? How would uh, that go? <laughs> <laughs> You're playing against a robot? Yeah. I don't they, know. I'm they would curious. win. No, if you like... No, like the playman yeah. speaks at you instead of you having to do that spinner. It's like oh, I was thinking. left Ooh. hand blow, and then when you put your hand, you go... And like things like so, you think combine that dance out. machine oh, no. and arcades with Twister? I was thinking like you hit the wrong dot at like <laughs> guys. I was just that something. shocks you. Yeah. I was just Why does everything shock you? Oh, I tried Twister. Right. I thought it was a dance dance revolution, and it was like put your hand down. I was like, no. <laughs> Do it, human. <laughs> You're my slave. <laughs> Oh, I really thought Twister might pull this one out. Oh, no. Battleship again. No. Oh. It's going to be Battleship <laughs> on so, Battleships. Yeah. So. They're the same bracket, so it can't be the final. It's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It's so bad. We're down to the final 16. Let's go. Mouse again, trap, mouse how did Pick Up Sticks nobody, make it this far? Yeah, <laughs> because I nobody, but nobody knows Mousetrap. It's a fun, like, what? let's put it together. You, okay, is it co-op or competitive? No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Game. No, you roll dice, you move on. As you end, you build the thing. When you get to the end, you're running around and grabbing I'm cheese. But if you're underneath the trap, though, when the thing goes off. Have you ever played a game of it? No. Okay, so again, <laughs> it's not a game that's I read played. the rules, though. <laughs> Hmm. Come on! It's not yeah. a game that's played. Like it's, it's Let's read the classics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's at Barnes and Noble and those leather bound. No, I do I do readings. People come and they listen to me read rules. It was the best of games. It was the worst of games. <laughs> <laughs> Call me trap. mouse. <laughs> Call me mouse. Mouse yeah. trap wins. Yay! <laughs> oh goodness. Call I'm me. surprised though in the, all the years that mouse traps out. That no one's made like a completely different one. They've changed a few minor parts of it, yeah. but no one's made like a completely different mousetrap. Yeah, that is weird. Mm. Okay, so admission, when I bought gizmos before I knew what it was about, people were like, hey, you make this machine and all this stuff. I'm like, this is going to be great. I opened it up, I'm like, huh. You yeah, very was disappointed. I was really wanting mousetrap <laughs> 2.0 for gizmos. But All right, guess who gets woo? Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Oh, oh I love you, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I'll see you later. Oh. It's got to be guess who. I know, it's a guess better who. game. See, guess who uh, is maybe my choice to go all the way. Yeah, okay, that's not a bad choice. Yeah. Gosh, I wish I could yeah. remember that one I played guess recently. Guess who is good stuff? <sighs> yeah, but This is another who. one that they haven't really revamped too much, but they no. very much could. No, they did that one where you stuck in the sheets. Yeah. You know about Rock'em Sock'em or guess who? Wait, he's trying to sneeze. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Not only if I'm looking up, I'm avoiding Camilla, yeah. but you're trying to sneeze. I was, and then it went away. All right, anyway. 
<laughs> there was uh, no. There's like electronic. Guess who that you put different sheets in and stuff. Oh, is yeah. electronic? Guess who and it didn't make the list. <laughs> yeah, have you heard of Battleship? <laughs> he makes a fair. Oh, oh come on, see you later, yeah, Rock'em yeah, Sock'em. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh man. man, that's sad. Electronic. Guess who? Ah, uh, that hurts. Okay. Barely knew you. Let's see here. What are we at? Risky. <laughs> Oh, hippos. Oh, hippos. this is great. Like, do you think this question has ever been asked? Like, hey, guys, what do you want to play? Hey, guys, uh, yeah. Welcome to game night. Which one? We're going to do Risk, <laughs> or we're going to do Hunger Hunger Hippos <laughs> for six hours. <laughs> but as Hunger Hunger Hippos, they've had a legacy version of it. Oh, that'd be great. Absolutely uh, great. No, what you do is there are rules inside the, the marbles. And after you're done eating, whoever won... They randomly open one of their marbles, and there's a rule change. No, the in marbles there. each have a word on. You spell okay. out the word, the rule. Oh, got it. I hope. <laughs> For clump. Kill the other player. No, oh, <laughs> mix it back up. Yeah, yeah. I think Risk is gonna win this. I think Hungry Hippos oh, has I had its not. day. Aww. Oh, hippos is Poor fun hippos. though. That's so sad. Hippos kill more humans mm. than any other animal, practically. True. What does that have to do with this game? That they're, they're hungry. I don't think we should be. Encouraging that sort of stuff. Those balls, children's heads. You know what else? There are little faces on them. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> don't be, don't be spoiled by metaphor. That would be great, but if in risk, some of the troops were hippos. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Hungry, hungry Remember risk. me? It's all about food. Oh, <laughs> that would be good. All right, what do we got uh. next? Oh, that's easy. Rumble Yahtzee. And Yahtzee. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go with Yahtzee on this one too. Goodbye, Krishunk. I don't know. If Yahtzee came I with really a pop matic though, instead of the cup and the dice. Unbeatable. Just give me a big pop matic with a You would need a really big one. Oh, a big one. I mean, both Wait, hands, you, you need to push it down. Oh, no, you can. Because they have met, like Chuck E. Cheese, those things, you know, that you, you roll the dice, they bounce around, and you can lock some of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it shoots the other ones back out. Really? That's a thing? Huh. Well, you're trying to get them in a row. You know yeah, yeah. Chuck I like that. Yeah. <laughs> How about Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I got seven kids. Like, yes, I know about it's not Chuck E. Cheese. I mean Dave and Buster's, but yes. <laughs> sure. Oh, no, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice save. This is sponsored by Chuck E. Cheese. I'm just saying. You know, when we were in Orlando, we went to CeCe's, which was right next to Chuck E. Cheese, and I thought, <gasps> who would eat the pizza at Chuck E. Cheese when CeCe's is yes, right there, there for three dollars? Or whatever. Pizza? It's like so good. As a heads up. No longer three dollars. Oh no! Is oh, it? You remember good old days? It's now ten a person there. What? Yes. <gasps> Did they raise the quality? It's now ten a person. <laughs> <laughs> Yahtzee killed trouble. All right, what do we got next? Uh, oh my goodness! Three dollars. That was in the nineties. <laughs> I know. That's where I went for college. I'm like two ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All you can eat. I still know how they made money. They no. didn't make money off me. No. Chocolate pizza is a thing. What's next? It's what? Life versus Parcheesi. Life versus life. Parcheesi. The game of life versus oh. the game of Parcheesi. Might be the only time I say life. <laughs> you really are hating on Parcheesi. Have you played Parcheesi? No, but I also have no interest in it. But it's better than the game of life. I don't know. No. I, I have less yes. interest no, in it. No, I'm with yes, life. I'm okay. sorry. I'm, like, again, I'm sorry. No, another, in this case, history like, got it right. Uh, Parcheesi, Parcheesi, it's Parcheesi a, a classic is a, game of you India. You said you don't like the beginning and end of uh, uh, Chinese, Chinese checkers. checkers. It's the same thing. I disagree. I like Parcheesi. Tell me how the end of Parcheesi is interesting. Well, you roll the dice, yeah, and if it's not exact, you don't get in. <laughs> <laughs> So and, then, and then you keep passing the dice around the table, so I was like, yes, I got it! And you're like, yeah, oh, hooray, the game's gosh. over. That's fair. Uh, it's better than the game of life. <laughs> oh. You've had a bad experience with life. life. No, it's just all <laughs> I just don't like a wife. sucks. All right, I say life wins. Pink, yeah, pink, blue, life's got to win. Yeah! Oh, yeah. All right, oh, all right. Now. Drive your car into that one! <laughs> <sighs> We're getting too excited about these old games. I know. So we're going to go like, play oof. some old games right after this. Crossfire. Crossfire. Crossfire is oh, coming up. So what do we got now? Marble Man says Crossfire and Kerplunk. Why you called it? Yeah. Ooh, these both have marbles in them. That's a tough one. Goodbye, Bye. Kerplunk. Oh. Crossfire is exciting and action packed. Kerplunk is those filled kids. with action moments. But I think that's, yeah. I like the angst of it, though. Uh, we'll Crossfire has a lot of angst, too. Where no, you're it's like. like da, 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 da. 
yeah. where you're just sitting there and you're trying to put you're trying to smoothly grab the marbles and put them in without that's gotta be without cross looking. Fire. Yeah, it's gotta I be don't crossfire. Know. Yeah, that, I think it will be crossfire. See, what I want to do is I want to play. The, I want to have like each player has an operation board and crossfire in between them. And every time your opponent makes an eh, you can shoot one. <laughs> Think about that now, okay? I think you shoot the tweezers as they go in. No, no, like every time your opponent goes mm, and touches a side, you hear it and you go, I gotcha. And you get to shoot once. Blah, cross fire. That's, that's, that's really good. Do you have to, you have to sing All a you song? need to do is. You need to need one copy of Crossfire, two copies of Operation. <laughs> I just want a four player Crossfire, is what I want. Oh, yes. Did they ever make that? I don't think so. That little rubber band one again, does it? All right, what are we mm. at now? Operation again. Wait, wait. Mm. I'm assuming Crossfire won that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, there is still sanity in the world. Operation against Can Battleship. That Battleship just makes battleship. it look like the screen's going dark every time I look at it. Yeah. It's just a dark yeah, yeah. picture, yeah. Yeah. So for Hasbro's in color, the fire. It's got to it. be Battleship, right? It's got to be Battleship. I think so. Battleship. There's no way. Op you like Operation mm. better, probably. Right. <sighs> what is your hatred against Battleship? It, I, mean, I, I think have you seen the classic movie? Yes, the classic. I classic. have. Battleship, Battleship. I have. Wait, actually, you have? I have, I know. Really? You're wasting your viewing of that? <laughs> <laughs> we love the game and didn't watch it. <laughs> Why did you watch Very it? Very realistic film. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Battleship, baby, yes. Uh, oh, I'm wow. And next up, Electronic Battleship. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? We're getting close to Electronic Battleship. It's so next. It's probably should be next. next, right? 100%. If I don't see Battleship against Electronic Battleship, there we go. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no! Skip! Yeah. <laughs> I'll skip! I'll skip! <laughs> skip two. Skip. Oh, My favorite man. Uno is Uno Hearts, where it's basically you're playing Hearts instead of Uno. Yes. Seriously, um, that's a thing? Yeah, it is. And there's also the machine that shoots them out every once in a while. You stick the card and never once watch like yeah. blah, 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 shoot six cards so at you. Dumb. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> the way to wreck it. Wow. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. oh, you guys are going to ruin it. Call it. Call it right now. No. Go, go, call it. Oh man. Yeah, it's it's got to be yeah, Uno. Battleship. Everyone's saying Battleship. Uh, Electron Battleship was like, avenge me, it's brother. Not good. <laughs> oh not man. Good. And Bowser was like, no, you never talked to me. <laughs> you, we were in the same room. <laughs> you and your electronics. Oh, man. Well, that is That's close, rough. though. Yeah, that is close. Really yeah, that's close. surprising, actually. All right. It's Uno. Wow. Oh, man. Is okay. that the end of the first category? Yep. We're down to the final eight, baby. Eight. These are Elite all great eight. games. Like, any at of these point, eight. Yeah, yeah. It's just an honor to be nominator at this point. I would I call them a late. The first these honor eight. of their entire yeah. run here. Yeah, yeah. these yes. eight. If you buy just these eight games, that's it. That's a ready-made board game you're an American collection. Who's lived in the last thirty years? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> you've already right. bought them all. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why we're discussing yeah. this. This is the essential line. <laughs> oh man! Oh, your mouse trap's gone. You think so? Oh, I think people no. will take. I think guess who should win? But I think I'm people holding will on say, to mouse trap. I think people will say mouse no. trap. No. Guess, guess who lost? Guess what? I think. Mousetrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Mouse trap. Come on. No. But guess who is better, a better man. game? Flip yeah. down all the ones that aren't a game. Mousetrap is a cool contraption. It is a better game, but Ma Mousetrap, come on, Mousetrap. Oh, that's a terrible cover for Mousetrap also. Right, that's why it's going to lose. Okay. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why. All right. You hold on to whatever you hold on to there. <laughs> uh, yeah, guess who? All right. If we had a different well, cover. a surprise. You did not. Guess who? <laughs> <full of poo. laughs> it would have been so much better. Ah... Uh, Oh, I'm sad. Risk against Yahtzee. Oof. How is Risk still in this thing? Risk right, combat this is, is similar. This yeah. is interesting because I think both of these are still played. Like That's quite true. These are the yeah. most played, you know? too, probably yeah. of all of them. Absolutely. I mean, amongst gamers. I mean, my best friend, her like, favorite game of all time, I'm ki I kid you not, is Risk. They play it, like, probably weekly in their home. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a real shame. And I know a lot of people who play a lot of Yahtzee on, right. yeah. like, the iPad. Absolutely. Or their phones yeah. or whatever. Yep. I'd say Yahtzee. I'm right? neither of those go camps. With Yahtzee, I, think. I would go with Yahtzee. I go with Yahtzee. I think it's, Yahtzee's yeah. inspired more games as far as like yeah. an actual mechanism, you know? I mean, King yeah. of Tokyo and things like that. So Yahtzee's inspired an entire genre of overdone games, but yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. Yahtzee! Yeah. All right, Yahtzee. Okay, there we go. Risk is out. Bye. Yep. You're wrong, are you, Ian? <laughs> she doesn't watch. 
It's fine. <laughs> Free. Call people out. <laughs> Wow. Uh, dude, I want to do that too. <laughs> the next one will be like, yeah, in your face, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what next is. <laughs> uh, yeah, kill it! Oh, yeah. yeah! How did the game of life make it this far? I want to see 0% on life. <laughs> yeah, That's what right? I'm going for. Yeah. Some people are going to have nostalgia well, for life. It. I don't get it. You There's can no bet in life. That was always fun. <laughs> Betting in life? No, you could. You went to the racetrack and you put your. Your money on two different numbers. There's this one through ten cardboard board. I'm talking about the OG life, which is great. You were allowed to bet in life? No, I, my mom got rid of it because of the betting. But I, played <laughs> it at a, but I played it at a neighbor's house. And they still had the they had the betting expansion. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I don't know who's gonna win here. Crossfire. Cross oh, crossfire. Cross okay, come on. Shoot and marble come on. at your face. Oh, that it should not be that close. close. As you thought there, you sir. You did not get your zero percent. Yeah. Wow. Uh, at this point, none of these are going to be zero uh percent. -uh. So. Got to respect uh -uh. life here. So 170 people out of the 700 watching. Come on, folks. All righty, let's see. <laughs> We're down to the last ones here of this category. It's Battleship and something. But you know what it's not? Not electronic. Electronic not Battleship. Electronic. That's, That's gone. so sad. That's gone now. Who beat Electronic Battleship? I don't even remember. Everybody on this list. And guess who he's going to Uno. Awful. Uno, yeah. Yes! Oh. Avenge me! Oh. Do it again! Avenge me! Again. No. Oh, here it is. Take hard. it out. This it is, is this. not it's difficult. It's not hard. Uno is, is not a not. game. You just play a card from your hand. You don't do anything. Battleship, you just randomly guess. It's whoever gets yeah. lucky five times in a row. Find no, the ship. No, when you first hit, no. A, that feels good. But then B, you have no. to be like, is the ship like this? Where's it like this? Okay, right. I take it back. I take it back. You have one in the entire game. <laughs> no. Then, no. Then kind of like, who would put it on the end? <laughs> but that's it. No. No kidding, though. You always try to read your opponent. You're like, would they put the ships next to each other? Would yeah, they put they the small one over here? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always do a cluster. That, it's the invasion for us. It's not Did you ever try to game. turn them diagonal? So I do dumb. every time, just to make sure they don't fit Oh, we played a variant where you put the ships on top of each other. What? Because take that makes fewer spots, That's but if they I'm get saying. hit, then oh my God. they're all stuck. <laughs> That's wild. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. The problem with Battleship actually is that kids can just out and out cheat at Battleship. Oh, I'm going to get some water. You can just move it. Oh, oh this is so I bet you walk around and get some water. No, like if they yeah! you, <sighs> you can literally just like pick it up and move it. And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Kids could do that. Like, That's possible. Until they accidentally move it to where you've already done misses. Battleship. No, you oh, mark it. Right, yeah, right. you're supposed to. What Final it? four. Somebody take take that. Semifinals. Oh, Ooh. This is it. This is it. Ooh. This is it. Okay. Yahtzee versus guess who? <sighs> guess who lost? Yeah. I would play both of these, though. Like, I would not. If my kid said, hey, you want to play one of these? Like, yes, easy. I would play Yahtzee versions, like Yahtzee I said, over. such as like King of Tokyo or something, but the <laughs> actual of these two games, I'd play Guess Who. I like them both. I gotta go with Yahtzee on this. I gotta really? go Yahtzee, I... too. It's but... got my name in it. I would play both of these, which <laughs> is really weird. In it. I'm gonna no, get an old box of that and cut it out, and leave it on his desk. Oh, that would be great. But it would say T Z E E, -E <laughs> like the, the Chinese version. Hello, Z T. In England, they call it Yat said. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> That's a really <laughs> tough <laughs> joke. Oh, All right, we got it. Whoa! Oh, oh man! Lost, though. <laughs> my dad, I did. I'm so, asking you a question. <laughs> Yahtzee's and loopy. in the finals. You are getting loopy. You need to put that drink down. No, nah, I need that some drink. more of that. No. <laughs> Bring back Battleship, the electronic battle. Uh, <laughs> Battleship's here right now. Let Battleship, Ooh, battleship nice. against Crossfire. Oh, no. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Wait, who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for Crossfire now? Yes. You weren't rooting for it before. Depends on what's against. You can't jump on it, a bandwagon, you fan. You can, depending on what's against. That's, <laughs> that's the whole point of this. No, I Which disagree. is better of the two you're looking at. No, you what? pick. Uh, no, you got to pick one. You hey. said don't spill the beans. I said they pick one. They remember. The Somebody made the there. same joke as you uh, in, the, in the comments. Now he's annoyed because you said it first. <laughs> <laughs> the Yacht Z thing? He's a, yeah, you're yacht Ken, Z. It's called Yacht Z. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay, but I, t I said it out loud, so feel good about that. Because nobody should have done that. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, my beloved Crossfire! What's the oh, what? matter You're with rooting you against people. Battleship? Oh, man. I love Crossfire. Crossfire. Wait, don't touch it, Chris. <laughs> Crossfire. Give him time. Best out of ten. I'm going to shoot your face. <laughs> yeah, let's run it back. 
Let's all huddle up and do it again. <laughs> well, I'm not buying Crossfire for Dice Diaries now either. Oh. Is Battleship in wow. here, though? And this is why we can't no. have nice things. <laughs> Oh, oh, congratulations man. to the battleship. Here we go, final. Oh, all right, this is oh. it. Battleship v. Yahtzee. No, this Yahtzee. is easy for me, Yahtzee. Yahtzee, I Probably. think, is going to win, but... No, I'm going battleship. Now, if this was a wrestling match, Yahtzee would be beating on battleship, but then an electronic battleship would come up and hold yes. Yahtzee down. Yeah. Tag <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Remember me from earlier? <laughs> I, go I would go with battleship here. <sighs> what? Yeah. Yahtzee. Nostalgia Yahtzee. holds on to Battleship. I'd rather play Battleship than Yahtzee. And if maybe one of these had an electronic version, I don't know, that would be better. <laughs> actually, they both have a good electronic version. <laughs> they do, too. actually, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these are both so... Both of these are legit bad, Mike Howard. They are not. Yahtzee's a good game. Yahtzee's a good mechanism. It's not a good game, no, because as soon as you decide to cross one out and save another dice, that's what you get next. It's like that's, that's how all rolling like, rights work. Uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, Wait, so you're going no. for battleship then? No, she's going for Yahtzee. I'm going for Yahtzee, but I'm, but I'm not arguing. It's a good I know. Game. I'm like, oh, you're so sitting there insulting. You don't want to be a fan. So what are we doing? Don't Yahtzee, Joey, you battleship, suck though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> is that right? Yahtzee battleship. Yahtzee battleship. Yep. Oh, there it is. We got this. Come on now. Come on, battleship. Come on now, battleship. We ready? Show it. Come on now. Hey, oh. No! Oh, you yeah. my oh, bunch of dice. Yes. All right, so listen, folks, while you're watching this, congratulations first to Yahtzee. You're the best of the worst. But if you think these games are pretty decent, go on Board Game Geek and rate them so they're not in the bottom. <laughs> We're going to make them number one. Like, Chris, can you quick do a search for Yahtzee? Like, what? what's its ranking on Board Game it's probably Geek? probably gone up since we did this. All these people are in their angry voting. <laughs> Well, yeah, went down. <laughs> yeah, right. That's true, yeah. <laughs> that's true. And I mean, I know I'm going to go rate Battleship after this. What are you going to rate it? Uh, zero. Can you do that? <laughs> you cannot. Uh, point one. And you so can do we'll that, it up to a one. Okay, got it. We'll round it up to a one. Point. Mm. I guess Look at that. It's rated 24,154. Click, click that number at the top there, that 24154. Be great if we saw Chris's personal rating on here, too. <laughs> like like 9.5. Look at that. Yahtzee is above Topple and Ninja Galaxy. Ten. <laughs> but, but what's... <laughs> what's... 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 Robo Monopoly Jam. Nintendo. Come on, Battle Battle Ship. ships? We have Battle 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 Battle. Battle. There's all wild. There's all that, wild. Is that four players? All wild. Uno all wild? Yeah, how can Uno all wild be better than Yahtzee? <laughs> Wait, the Game mean. of Life Junior. <laughs> Phase 10 dice. Game of Life ah. Junior, what is it? School home. School home. Oh, boy. Tetris the card game. Oh, it's boy. It's a trading card game. I played that. Monopoly, put Law and Order game, Word, Word Yahtzee. Yahtzee. <laughs> oh, man. Advertising, Ooh. that's a great name. Sorry with Fire and Ice Power Ups. Hey. Well, I want to play that, actually. I kind of do. Did you cover that 10 years ago? I did not. <laughs> you Mystery missed it. Oh, man, that's a, that's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, look at all that. Taco versus Burrito. Taco. Superpower is a terrible game. Oh, it's a terrible game. You know, old power or super power? <laughs> super power. Oh, that's not the one yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Okay, I was like, oh, man. Yeah, all those games rank higher than Yahtzee. That's nonsense. Oh, nonsense. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. Alrighty, that's the last live thing for this week mm. here from us folks. Well, we got lots of videos going up over the weekend, of course, and we hope you have a great weekend. And uh, if you missed it, we put up a lot of other things today. Thanks for a voting. Lot. Thank you to Chris and Roy for putting this all together. Woo! Hope you all have a good time. Go play some Yahtzee with your loved ones. I don't know why I said it that way. It sounded kind of like the last thing <laughs> you're ever going to do. <laughs> Enjoy your last meal. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Camilla. I'm Z. Yahtzee. That's true. Zed.